Hi boys and girls, I'm Firefighter Bill. This is Firefighter Billy. Generally, we come to your classroom to show you what it's like to be a firefighter, some of the equipment that we use, and talk to you about fire safety. But because of COVID-19, that's just not possible this year. So we thought we'd put a video together to show you what it's like to be a firefighter, some of the tools that we use, and talk to you about fire safety. First of all, is all fire bad? Well, let's think about it. Is a campfire bad? No, it's not bad. A campfire is a lot of fun. It keeps us warm. We can make s'mores. We can tell stories and sing songs. So that's a lot of fun. It only becomes bad if you as little kids were to reach into it and play with a hot log or something like that. But a campfire is good. How about in the kitchen? Mom and dad, grandmom and grandpa, they turn on the stove and the little fire comes up under the pot. Is that good fire or bad fire? Well, that's good fire, right? It cooks our food. It only becomes a bad fire if you were to reach up and touch the flame or the hot pot and what's in it. If you have a fireplace, is that good fire or bad fire? Well, that's a good fire, right? It makes the house warm. It's nice to have. It only becomes a bad fire if you as kids were to reach in and touch the flames or the hot logs. Now, is there a special rule we should follow if our clothes were to catch on fire? Stop, drop, and roll. Can everybody do stop, drop, and roll? Firefighter Billy will show us how it's done. We stop what we're doing, we drop down to the ground, and we roll back and forth, back and forth. Cover our face so that the fire doesn't get up onto our face. That should put the fire out. Now, how about these? Are these good fire or bad fire? Well, they're good fire, right? Mom and Dad, Grandma and Grandpa, they might use these to light the grill outside. Or maybe the candles on your birthday cake. That's real fire that comes out of there. And if that were to get on your skin or your clothes, that would catch on fire. And again, we have to remember our rule. Stop, drop, and roll if our clothes were to catch on fire. Now, how about these? Are these something we should ever play with? No, they're not for little kids. But we find that little kids like to take one and do that. And as that fire gets bigger and bigger and comes down the stick closer to their fingers, they get scared and they drop it down onto the rug. Then the rug catches on fire, then the furniture catches on fire, and before you know it, the house is on fire. Now, did we ever mean for the house to catch on fire? No, they didn't mean for the whole house to catch on fire, but that's what happens when we play with matches. So don't ever play with matches. How about this? What's this? That's right, it's a smoke detector. We have them at school, we have them at home. And a lot of times, it goes off and it makes this sound. When we hear that sound, and there is smoke in our house or in school, should we hide under our bed? No. Should we hide in the closet? No. We should go outside where it's safe. If you hide under the bed or hide in the closet, it makes it harder for Firefighter Billy and I to find you. Once we get outside, is there a good number we should call on the phone to get us help? That's right, somebody said it. 911. We take our phone and we push 911. Again, push the number 911. Hold this up to your ear and an adult will come on and they will ask you, what's your name? Where do you live? What's wrong? Tell them your name. Tell them where you live and tell them, I think my house is on fire. And they'll send the firefighters and the fire truck to come make things better. How about if you're at home and mommy and daddy had to go out for the night. They went to the movies, they went out to dinner and they left you at home with the babysitter and the babysitter gets sick. Is there a special number we can call to get help for the babysitter? That's right, 911. 
So you push 9, 1, 1, hold this up to your ear, and tell them the babysitter's sick. And they'll send an ambulance and a police car to make things better. How about if you think you need a policeman to come to your house? Something has frightened you and you need the police to come to your house. Is there a number? Exactly, it's the same number. 911. Again, that grown up will ask you, what's wrong? What's your name? Where do you live? Tell them your name. Tell them where you live and say, I'm scared and I think I need a police officer. And they'll send a police officer to your house to make things better. Now, does everybody or anybody have a phone that looks like this? Probably not. But I'm sure mom and dad or an older brother or sister has a phone that looks like this. Maybe we could go home tonight and ask them to show you how to turn it on and dial 911 because this may be that phone that you're going to have to use to make that very important phone call. Now, I know a lot of you are now going to school at home. And what we're finding is a lot of kids are sitting at home with their laptop, either in bed or on the couch or on a chair. This laptop will get hot when you're charging it. So we can't leave it on our bed. We can't leave it on the couch. We can't leave it on a chair while we're charging it because it could cause those to catch on fire. So if you're going to use your laptop going to school, Make sure you put it on a hard surface when you're done with it and charging it so it doesn't catch on fire. How about this? What's this? It's a flashlight, right? Now, why would I show you a flashlight? Because sometimes we go to a fire, it's late at night, it's dark in the building, it's a lot of smoke. So we have to turn on our flashlight And see how bright that is? That shows us where the fire is so that we can stay safe. Now, how about this? Why would Firefighter Bill bring an axe to show you? Right? Sometimes we have to chop down a tree, but we have big saws to do that. A lot of times we go to a building. It's late at night. There's nobody in the building. There's nobody there but somehow that building caught on fire. We get to the door, and the door's locked and we can't get in. So Firefighter Bill takes his ax, wham! I smash the door. The door flies open, I throw down my ax, I grab my hose, I squirt the fire out, I wrap up the hose, and we go back to the station. You think that's how we do it? Well, it is, but are we really dressed to go fight a fire? I can tell you, Firefighter Billy and I both wore our uniforms today because we knew we were doing this video. But usually, we dress just like you, and those clothes would catch on fire. So they give us very special clothing to wear so that we don't get hurt putting out a fire. So let's show you what it looks like. We take our boots and our pants, we have to kick our shoes off because they don't fit inside. I step in. Pull up the pants. Now can we go fight a fire? No, that's right. What else do we need? Right, we need our coats. So we grab our coats. We zip that right up. All right, now we have our boots, our pants, and our coats on. Now can we go fight a fire? How about our hair? Do you think our hair would catch on fire? They sure would. So we have something very special that we wear so that our hair and our ears don't get burned. See, we put on our hood and it protects our ears and our hair from the fire and the heat. Are we superheroes? No, we're not superheroes. We're not Superman. We're not Batman. We're not Spider-Man. 
We're just regular people that have to wear special clothes and an air pack so that we can go into the fire. Let me show you what that looks like. So what they do is they take some of the air that's in the room and they stuff it into this bottle. Then it, I put the air pack on my back, button it all up. Turn it on. Now listen. Listen for the special sound that tells me when it's on. It's not a scary sound. Right? It's just a bell. That just tells me that it's working just fine. Now, how about this? What's this? It's a mask, right? It keeps the fire and the heat off my face. And it allows us to breathe in the smoke. Now, who else wears a mask that looks like this? That's right, a scuba diver, right? When they swim under the water, they need it so that they can breathe. I need it just the same. You hear that sound? What does it sound like? That's right, it sounds like Darth Vader. But it's just me breathing air. Now can we go fight a fire? What about our hands? Right? I have to protect my hands. Now can we go fight a fire? Yes! Is it hot in there? It sure is. But you know what? All this stuff protects me in the fire. So I'm happy to wear it. Now, before we finish up today, let's go over a couple of things. What should we do if our clothes catch on fire? That's right. Stop, drop, and roll. How about if we hear the smoke detector go off? Should we hide in the closet? No. Should we hide under our bed? No. We should go outside where it's safe. And what's that special number that we should call if we think we need the fire company, a police officer, or an ambulance? That's right, 911. Kids, thanks for watching today. Stay fire safe, and remember, always wear your mask. Bye.